X-Men, the animated 90s series, season 5, episodes 3 and 4, thoughts. These are parts 1 and 2 of Stormfront, which is the entire arc of Stormfront. So, spoilers for the show leading up to and including these two episodes. Another two episodes I absolutely love. The, uh, right. The top link in the description box will allow you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. Please do so. An extremely important cause. And then there are a bunch of links to videos that help explain why this is such an important cause. So, let's dive in to Stormfront Part 1. So, yeah. Cyclops' is flying is criticized, which might have helped, ex you know, inspire that element of the movies. And did not remember that this show featured storm on storm violence. Let's see. Who are you? What are you? I'm Gotham's Reckoning. And the the jet can literally go invisible so much like trump thought about that one american military plane and i i quite appreciate that you know they could have just skipped to the you know they they find storms communicate you know communicator and the the glowing golf ball and they could have just had like immediately they they teleport to what's it called Pol Polemicus, but you know we we you know we we jump to Beast having tested it and saying it contains no known elements and I cannot discover the the source of the energy of it you know. And then Wolverine accidentally activates it, which is just, yeah, you know, when it, 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 he's great to have by your side in a fight. There's, you know, he's, he's very honorable and there's a lot of problems he can solve. When it comes to matters of science, for Wolverine to succeed, it's probably going to be dumb luck. And... <laughs> And, you know, he's like, yeah, you can stay here. I'm going through. And the rest are like, well, I mean, okay, let's, you know, I guess it makes a certain amount of sense to go through. And, yeah, Archon explains about the, explains to Storm and the audience about the problems they've been having. And it's a very clear metaphor for climate change. They refuse, they know what's causing it, but they refuse to turn it off because they consider it the the source of power that they you know they're like how are we going to be able to get by without fossil fuels i mean the central tower you know they they insist that any solution has to go has to be you know without getting rid of of that power and the the, the right the the obvious one it is literally causing these extreme weather, you know, yeah, which is making it impossible to survive certain places on the planet, hint, hint, and it's literally, like, at one point he says, it's making, it's making our people sick, and he even brings up ozone layer, like, just, it, it could not be a more clear climate change allegory, and I'm here for it. And, you know, the, the mutants, even on Polemicus, are still being blamed for the problems, you know. And at one point, one of them says, are you sure this isn't Earth? It's like, I mean, okay, so we're getting, we're getting arrested for existing. And, it's, you know, just, yeah. And I do appreciate that until she learns the truth about him, Storm does seem like she's falling in love with Archon, and it does make sense. He is very charming, like, you know, <laughs> and it's it's in part like a, a like a warning of you know be beware of people who praise you, you know, get get to know them first, you know. But 
yeah, like, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of young men today say, oh, you know, I don't know how to be a way that women will like. Well, you know, don't, don't be evil like Archon is, but compliment her like Archon does. And, yeah, she agrees to marriage and becomes queen or empress or some such. And that brings us to part two of Stormfront. And, yeah, Storm explains the decision to the various X-Men. Oh, right, and I, I also quite liked the thing with, you know, we need a distraction for the guards. This is going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. Okay. You know, just... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we do learn, you know, Archon is evil. And the... Uh, yeah, the episode makes clear slavery is evil. It's used by people to speed up labor, even though they know it's unethical. I really appreciate that, like, the... What was it? The science guy who's on that chair, which looks really fun. I want one of those. You know, it's just going all over the place. He's like, we have a peace treaty, we can't enslave the, you know, and, and all these things. And Archon makes excuses. And, yeah, you know, it really underlines the slaves are fearful, they're in pain. And, you know, Storm is talking to Jubilee, and Jubilee's like, okay, I'm not the one you're trying to convince. You know, clearly, Storm is trying to convince herself. And, you know, at the, at the dinner, the X-Men are conspicuously absent, uh, you know, all freeing slaves with that one guy who, I guess, was also a slave. And, you know, he's got the, the gun, but he's shooting robots, not X-Men. But, yeah, at the, at the party, you know, Archon gets up, you know, I would like to propose a toast to dressing and having the muscles of Spartans from 300. A hateful movie, if ever there was one. You know, chugs. But the... Let's see... Yeah, I quite like, you know... you. I did not give you permission to leave. She doesn't need anybody's permission, badass. You know, I, I don't know if it needed to be that it's a guy doing it for a girl, but, I mean, sometimes, you know... We need each other's support. And I really like Wolverine is going to scare Archon because he likes scaring people. You know, just, yeah. This is what Wolverine is. That, that's where he's a Viking. And I quite appreciate, you know, Jubilee talking down Storm. That is very much like, you know, no one can, do, can go it on their own. We need each other. And, you know, women being there for each other, extremely important. And, you know, at, near the end of the episode, I was like, I mean, they didn't free the slaves, you know. But then Storm does destroy the tower, freeing the slaves. And, yeah. Archon's not a fan. Let's, let's go with that. That is everything that I had to say. Um, always a fan of X-Men fighting robots. Really, yeah, appreciate the, the morality tale. It's cool to see, you know, this, like, I mentioned Spartans. They also, one of the guys has, like, horns on his helmet, which is a common misunderstanding of Vikings. So, yeah, another excellent two episodes. So, catch you again tomorrow for The Fifth Horseman and Jubilee's Fairy Tale Theater. Make mine